Hi guys, it's Z again and today I'm going to show you how you can create this really great picture in text effect using GIMP. So this is our final image. I'm going to show you how to create this now using GIMP and it's really easy to do. So what we need to do first is open the background image with the, the fish on. So we'll go File, Open, Find the image, Open. That's our background image. And now we're going to put some text on top of that. So the ocean text. So we'll go Text Tool, um, take that text size up a little bit to 430. Yeah. Um, I'll make sure that the text color is white and then we'll apply the text on top of this image. Just type ocean. I just expand the, the text box so it all fits. Drag it over a little bit. Yeah. That's great. Now we're just going to align that to the center of the center of the image so by using the alignment tool click on the text click central horizontally and then central vertically that's our text sitting nicely right in the middle of the frame so the next thing to do is for us to take the text go control right click alpha the selection and now we need to add a masking layer above that. So we'll go New Layer. Make sure the background colour is selected. So we're going to have grey. And press OK. So we've got a layer above that text now. On this layer, well, we want to add a, a masking layer. So we'll go Control, right click, apply a layer mask. And that needs to be on selection. And we click add. You can see that that selection has cut out already the text from that layer mask. The only reason it's white is because we've got the, the text still visible. If we turn that off, then you can see the picture behind it. Okay, so we're now going to work on this layer mask and add in the splashes. So we, we do that by using the eraser tool. Um, click on this one here called Splats O2. The size about 112 will do. Hardness needs to be up to 100. And then we can just, oh sorry, before that we need to add in a selection. So rectangular selection tool. And we'll drag it around the text. Just a little bit more. Yeah. Just expand that out a little bit more. Okay. Back to the eraser. And now we should be able to erase part of the uh, the mask. Just like that. That's pretty good. Just do a little bit on the inside of the there. Do some on the top of the E and right over here on the N as well. That looks pretty good. Just go back a little bit. I'm not quite. I don't quite like that last one that I put on. And do a razor. Yeah, just put a little bit less on. That's great. Okay, so that's our our mask done. Um, so now we'll click back onto the text. And what we're going to do now is put a, a drop shadow around the text. So we'll go Control, right click duplicate layer 
and we'll drag that duplicate layer up above our masking layer. Click on the visibility and now we're going to add the drop shadow. So we'll go filter, light and shadow, drop shadow and we'll need to turn the opacity right the way up to 2. So you can click on and type 2, enter. Now you can see the drop shadow but that's a little bit too heavy for what? for this particular image. So I'm going to drop that down to around about 8 or 9. Yeah, 9. OK. And now we'll just need to remove the, the white from that text so we can see what's, what's beneath it. You can do that by going Colours. Colour to Alpha. OK. We'll go Select none so that's the text uh, which is looking good and we're just going to finish it off and really make it pop by changing the background slightly so we need to click on the background and we're going to use the gradient tool and we're going to set the opacity at 100 and we're then going to Make sure that we're clicked on the background and not the mask, not the mask, but the background. And then click right in the center. We're using radial as well, which means that we're gonna have a radial uh, gradient coming from the center working out. So then we're gonna click right on the center and hold and drag it out to the outside edge, just like that. Now if you want to change the outside colour and the inside colour, you click on the cross. So we'll click on the centre, you want to see that's white. We'll click on the outside edge and that's a grey. What would increase that grey, just using this one here. That makes it a little bit darker, which is actually quite nice. Let's come in a little bit. Yeah. So that's it, click OK, cross, and then back on the selection. And that's our final image. I hope you've really enjoyed that video, guys. And if you have, please give us a like. If you'd like me to show you something else in GIMP uh, that you're struggling with, then leave us a comment down below.